Hello, this is Hawker Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1113, also known as Lachesis Spinner. It's a hard word to really figure out how to pronounce, and I think I did it wrong. I'm almost certain I did that wrong, so if you do know how to pronounce that word, it's also the name of a persona, I think. Um, how about you tell me in the comments below? Because I'm not gonna open Persona 5 Royal and hope and keep on summoning one persona in the hopes that Joker actually says its name. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. I have number SCP-1113, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures Due to it posing no risk when in a passive state, SCP-1113 can be stored in a secure box in a standard containment room. If required for testing, it may be signed out for use by Level 3 researchers and above. Any testing involving D-Class mortality must be approved in writing by a member of senior staff prior to commencement. Description SCP-1113 is a small spinning top comprised of a hollow bronze base, heavily oxidized and showing small flecks of blue from having been previously painted. The upper section is a porcelain and figurine of, a, of the upper, upper body of a woman painted with enamel and with a blue and brown blouse made of a rough cotton. It is spun by means of wrapping the string around it and then pulling firmly to rotate the top at speed. The figuring is attached to the Ebron segment by a clear resin and like glue concurrent with the apparent age of manufacture. 1915. The bronze component has been estimated by thermoluminescent dating to have been cast around 50 BCE, uh, give or take about 40 years. There are imperfections in the alloy and tooling marks on the inside of the top that suggest that the bronze has been retooled and was formerly used in a different construction. When SCP-1113 is spun by hand, the person doing so does not age or suffer any degeneration to their body due to the effects of aging or illness, for as long as the top is spinning. Tests using automated robots spinning the top suggest that it will spin for anywhere up to 14 hours when spun with sufficient force using levels of force within realistic limits of human strength. Any wounds caused before or during the top of being spun remain present or not a present are not are not affected in any way. The individual is still moral or to life threatening injury while the top is being spun. The top came to the attention of the foundation and redacted when alerted by a member of the London Metropolitan Police Force with connections to the foundation. He reported that it had been taken as evidence from a house in Brighton, UK, which had been an, an entered by Sussex police after reports by neighbors of an unpleasant smell. On forcing their way into the house, they discovered the corpse of a man who was estimated to be around 70 years old. His body was on the floor with one arm stretched out under the sofa. Officers found a spinning top at the back of the sofa. His right palm showed heavy calluses at the base of all the fingers and a wound approximately one centimeter deep across the center of the palm, which appeared to be catalyzed through burning or friction. Estimates suggest that it would take many weeks of constant friction between the street and palm to cause such extensive damage. There was also severe damage to the right shoulder socket and extreme dislocation caused by the arm being overextended in attempts to reach a spinning top. Although there was very little personal information found in the flats, that a body was identified as belonging to Richard Mark Piper, a 19 redacted driving license and a birth certificate found in the flat given in the deceased's date of birth as a December 24th, 18 redacted. Further information may be found in the supplemental materials consisting primarily of a set of journals found at the home of the deceased and police witness reports from neighbors. Supplemental materials 1113-2C Fragment from journal, uh, from journal of Richard Mark Piper's Errors Author's Own 
January, nice and redacted. It definitely works. I mean, I'm not sure how, but every time I spin the top, I start to stop spinning. It's like my hands are opening, expanding like a parched man getting a canteen of water. If I'd had this sooner, I could have helped with this dang war. I wonder how it works. It's magnetism, perhaps, or some sort of crystal hockum. How come? What am I saying? I'm using this. I'm writing this using a fountain pen with like wonderful working hands. April 19 redacted. The people at the club are always asking how I look so good at my age. They think I'm a 60 year old that looks 50 and they're impressed. No matter if they need the truth. I remember the last coronation, let alone this one. This truly is a marvel. I wish I could tell the world that what I have discovered. But then it would be taken from me. I know this. If only I could let Rachel use it. She seems so frail these days. But if I did, I know she'd not be able to resist telling friends. And we can't even get a new night cream without telling everyone on the street about it. Redacted. June 2000 something. Can't hold the pen very well. My hand is awfully sore. Can't stop though. I can feel him breathing down my neck. The Reaper. I know I've had him off too long. It's getting harder and harder now. She only spins for a couple of minutes at a time. She must keep dancing. She dances so beautifully. I don't want to die. Addendum. Although it's clear that the effect of this item could result in its use becoming obsessive, we have no evidence on whether or not this is a merely psychological or conditioning created by the SCP itself. Until this is known, it suggests that use is restricted to D-class personnel. And that was SCP-1113. I already forgot the original name, so I'm just going to call it the top that gives immortality. Immortal top. No. Oh no, it was Lachisis' top. That's a hard word. That's a very difficult word. <laughs> if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!